Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I am MegaFig400, and in this episode, we are going to start off by fighting the Terra Mutant. I believe it's the Terra Mutant. Um, this guy will be taking a while. He was quite the pain, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, Terra Mutant. Uh, here's his deal, and he's a little bit different than the other mutants in the fact that his bottom counterattacks by reducing the character's HP to 1, and when you kill the top, it will, uh, you know, kill all. Reduce all characters to one HP when it dies. Um, the bottom is really hard to kill. Like it has really, um, it only takes um, a little bit of damage. It doesn't do. You can't do that much damage to it. So you really want to focus on doing strong magic to the top, and then afterwards the bottom will eventually die. Um, and yeah, I, this guy took a while. I didn't do it probably as good as I could have done. But yeah, this guy did take a while, and he's definitely the hardest of the mutants, and I would hope he would be. And yeah, don't use any of these attacks. You know, I tried using different attacks just, you know, to test the waters. You just want to use magic attacks, strong magic attacks. Um, you can get a power steal from the bottom, and you can get a muscle ring from the top. The power steal, I believe, is kind of like the um, power ring, except where it's a lot better. I don't exactly know, um, because there's not really any description of what the power steal does, but it does increase your power, so... Um, it's definitely worth having if you want power. Um, so anyway, uh, things to talk about. Well, the other night, um, I had a Wii party of sorts. Or not only a Wii party, but like, um, and not Wii parties in the game, but like, uh, I brought a Wii my Wii down, uh, to my friend's, um, room, friend's dorm, and, you know, we played Wii for like, good, like, 8, 7, 9, 12 hours. Um, I think it was more, I think it was more like, like, until 2 o'clock was when I stopped playing, um, and we started about 3, 4-ish, more like 3. So yeah, it was a pretty long night of playing uh, Wii games. I played some Brawl, played some um, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which is really fun. I wish, I would love to play uh, Forcer's Adventure, but the setup for that is so expensive and just so, you know, tedious. Um, the New Super Mario Bros. Wii is still fun. I wish I had, I only had three Wii modes as opposed to four, so, you know, you can't, it, it, it would be so, it would have been much better if I had four Wii modes. I really, I, someday I have to just sit down and buy it. Once you buy it, it's bought. I just never really had a need to get four Wii modes, so I haven't gotten four Wii modes at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's, it, uh, it was quite fun overall. Um, quite enjoyable. Uh, but the one thing that, you know, was kind of interesting is I also at one point I have um, Cooking Mama for the week, Cooking Mama Cook-Off, and I uh, put, put that out. I just, you know, we didn't know what to play at the moment. I'm like, okay, let's, you know, I'll just take this and we'll put this in for a little while uh, and play two-player mode. And that was the game that, like, I think people had the, we had the most fun with, be partly because it's not really a bad game necessarily, but there are so many inconsistencies and so much, you know, like logical things in it and it, it was just fun to make fun of it and you know that brings a question you know people are so concerned with you know games being good games being perfect and have being perfect games it's like it's same with movies movies have to be perfect movies and I admit there I mean I've said before a lot of movies nowadays just don't have any effort but does that mean we should just get rid of all bad movies altogether I mean think about the Super Mario Bros. movie. That's not necessarily a good movie, but it's hilarious to make fun of. It's hilarious to watch because it's so bad. It's so bad, it's good. Cookie Mama Nestle isn't a bad game, but there's so much things you can make fun of that, you know, we had more fun with that than playing, like, Brawl because, I mean, Brawl was fun, too. You have, we had quite a uh, bit of fun with Brawl, but the thing with Brawl was it didn't have nearly as much fun because it's just, it, it's, it's pretty well made, so most of the fun was from the actions on game. Um, you know, things that we did. Which, you know, as I'm saying, it's not wrong to make a good game. No, I'm not saying that at all. That would be stupid. Uh, but at the same time, like, I mentioned the whole thing about people being perfectionists, trying to be perfection and trying to obtain, you know, perfect, and how people uh, do things because they're bored, because they're not bored, but because they, they like chaos. They like chaos. And if you had, you know, just all good games and perfect games, I think people would eventually get bored of them. We like a little bad games in our life. We like making fun of bad games and playing bad games, um, not necessarily alone, but with friends and with uh, you know with you know a group because they're fun to not, not even just mock, but just they're fun to play because of you know the inconsistencies. I guess they are fun to mock. Um, you know, think about like uh, 
reviewers like the Nostalgia Critic and uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd, you wouldn't they wouldn't exist if there weren't bad games or bad movies. And you know, think how much fun a lot of people have watching those and how funny they are. You know, a lot of comedians get their material from flaws, uh, from flaws in games, from flaws in just life. So you know, I think humor in general. I I'd say that bad things you know serve to uh, serve to uh, fill fulfill our humor to give us a fill of humor. So I guess my point is um, we need to find a balance between making good games and you know bad games. And there's a difference between just bad games that are just boring and horrible and bad games that are just hilarious to play. Uh, there is a fine line. I mean, I just not you know. It's a whole it's a debate. You know, I'm not saying just make bad games, but at the same time, do you want to get rid of bad games? It's it's a hard thing to even answer because it's like you want them to be to people to make good games, but at the same time, you know, you can't say we we have we have, you can't like set a quota of how many bad games you need. You know, and we learn 3D attack, which is a triple attack between these guys, and we finally defeat the Terra Mutant. But yeah, it's, it, it's, you know, it's a hard question to answer overall. And the White Rock is the last rock of the game if you were following this Let's Play, uh, which will give people another triple tech. Uh, I'll be sharing those in the extra video with all the techs. And here we have another room. And guess what? We have an old friend and more weird animations. Say hello to another lava spot. Now this one is more difficult than the uh, ones in... Uh, the Bound of Woe, but not much more. He's not that much more hard or difficult. He's pretty simple. Um, you can charm a safe helm from the lava spawn shell and a haste helm from the head. Other than that, same as the ones on the Mountain of Woe. Just attack the shell, don't... or uh, not the shell. Just attack the head, not the shell, and you will be fine. He's not um, that hard at all. Again, uh, he's just a little bit stronger, of course, but you know, at the same time, you use your most powerful single text against his head. You shouldn't have too much of a problem unless you just horribly, horribly are bad at this game or are really under level. If you're like level 1, then yeah, you'll have some trouble. How you got this far being level 1, I'm not sure. But, at the same time, um, yeah, he's not that hard. And, uh, let's see, what else has been... Not much. Not much has been... Well, yeah, this whole weekend is I had a lot... You know, I had, was busy the other weekend, and this whole weekend I've been kind of... It's a pretty calm week, and there hasn't been a lot of uh, things to worry about, personally. Um, because it, it, it's just been pretty uh, relaxed. I, I don't have anything major due at the end of the week, which is which is quite nice, to be quite honest. Um, what else? What, uh, uh, this whole I'm gonna I this whole winter I'm gonna be low on cash due to all these great games coming out. Um, I'm almost considering, you know, Epic Mickey getting that game as well. I know some people are hesitant about that. And one thing that baffles me is, at least from some of the response, I heard people say, like, oh, Mickey, who wants to play a Mickey game? It's like, those are the same kind of people who like playing Kingdom Hearts, which is a Disney game that, you know, takes the Final Fantasy formula and applies it, or not only Final Fantasy, Fantasy of formula, but the Final Fantasy style, I guess. Or the, you know, RPG-ish hero, spiky hair guy style and apply it to Disney. And then they're against Mickey, and and I know you know some people are like, oh, it doesn't look epic enough, but you know, looking at some of the more recent gameplay and some of the trailers, I don't know, it looks interesting. I'm actually, you know, I mean, in the past, didn't Mickey has actually had some great games in the past? He just hasn't had any recently. Well, yeah, not really, not really recently. And he is dead, and both of the girls are dead too. But who cares? I be, and I can do whatever I want. So yeah. Yeah, I know. I know you're probably thinking I'm sucking at these battles. To be honest, I'm mostly just being careless with the battles. I'm not really, um, and you can afford to be careless a little bit if you have enough, you know, attacks and stuff. Um, I, I will have to say this game isn't too hard. And if there's one big flaw, again, it's the fact that the battles can be somewhat spammy. Not nearly as much as other games, but you can spam them in pretty much. At least at this point. At this point, when you're this overpowered uh, with your attacks, I mean, the fact that the attacks you can essentially use. As many, and, and and that you know brings up a question. Yeah, you can use as many texts as you want. And you have all these powerful texts, but you don't have to. I mean, there's someone. Okay, um, if you heard of the game Palamulana, it's coming out for. Uh, I know I've been doing multiple rants lately, but 
you know, these episodes are pretty long and there isn't much going on, so I do apologize. But uh, La Mulan has been coming out. There is coming out WiiWare, and they mentioned how they're not going to have an easy mode. And people were like, oh, finally, we're not... Or some people were like, oh, finally, we're not going to get babied. It's like, it's an option to have an easy mode. You don't have to choose easy mode. It's an option for people who want to choose easy mode. Just because it's there doesn't mean you are forced to pick it. There is also a normal mode. Pick that if you don't want the easy mode. So, like, in this... You know, it, it's not as clear-cut as that, but you have all these powerful attacks. You could play a run without using the powerful attacks. That goes back to the whole, you know, what's the right way to do things, what's the wrong way to do things, um, that sort of thing. There is no right or wrong way. It's it's whatever way you want to do it. And here we have more panels. I think I cut this battle out. These guys aren't too difficult. And yep, they're dead. Uh, so that's basically the Black Omen, actually. We only have one, well... Uh, one is actually an understatement. We only have like one. I said one again. We only have a, a few more trials, and most of them are just final battles. Um, and yeah, I'm just using shelter. And again, I'm using all my power tabs and stuff at this point, uh, deciding who I want to go in the battle. I'm going to be using Magus because if you didn't guess already, we will be facing Zeal. Um, she is kind of. We, we haven't fought her through the entire game. She's basically the secondary protagon or a protagonist. No, duh, antagonist. Uh, in a way, because, you know, I mean, Lavos is the real, clones, C clones, well, who wants another, I don't want more clones of PK, we only have, already have one, we don't need three, or five, or whatever, we don't need PK more, or more PK, and here we have that weird, that's actually the mirror machine, I believe, yeah, this is where we were when we first went, uh, the palace, all the dreams that might have been, all that happens in sorrows you might have expected, gone forever, for you there will be no tomorrow, so yeah, the Black Omen is basically transcending time, waiting for him to, uh, Lavos to awaken. And now we will fight Zeal. Zeal is not that hard. Um, basically, uh, you, you could try to make Elixir from her, but basically she she can only knock your characters down to 1 HP, but she does have some that can, um, steal, d do some damage and steal some of your MP, but for the most part, as long as you make sure to keep healing, she's not difficult at all, and she'll go down pretty fast. Uh, yeah, she can absorb MP of one character, reduce the HP of all characters to one, and hurts one character. But she can never really kill them all at once, so unless you just let your characters die, you shouldn't have any problem. Yeah, Halitation is the one that reduces your move to one. Um, so yeah, this battle isn't too difficult. Uh, just keep bashing on Zeal. Who deserves it? I mean, she's... She's basically her craziness. I, I don't know if it's just the fact that she's been corrupted by Lavos or if she was, you know, power hungry after, I guess, her husband's death and now is has been corrupted by Lavos because of that. You know, similar to, um, there's been games I've done in the past. One in particular that I don't want to mention because I don't want to spoil it if anyone hasn't played that game before. Um, but, uh, I can't even, I can't, uh, it starts with an F and it ends with an Ira emblem. I'm not going to say which game it is. It's one of those games. I kind of spoiled it anyway, but whatever. I, I'm being very uh, non-specific. Uh, so yeah, we're going to just finish up this battle. Not that difficult. And next time we will uh, continue onward with stuffs, I guess. Um, eh, I have a little bit more time, though. Zeal with her laugh, her little smiley face. She won't live. And that's, uh, if you didn't know, that's, uh... Magus's strongest attack, which we saw when we faced Magus in uh, his castle. He now finally has it, even though he should have had it anyway. I don't know. And now she is dead. Alright, my powers don't seem to work here. Wait, I'll sl What? No, don't do that. That's mean. Well, next time we will be one with Lavos, the Omen, and her. This has been Mega 400 reminding you... Pizza Cakes. <laughs>